This is Pastor Curry, pastor of the Ease Eye and Fair Baptist Church, Wilmington's most exciting church, the church that love ya and ain't a thing you can do about it. Today with Coffee with Curry, we have a special guest. Just a year ago, we celebrated this man of God and we wanted to make sure that the world knew that in Delaware, in Wilmington, in Newcastle, there was a great giant that had not been recognized to the level that he needed to be. So we had this big celebration for him. And today, a year later, we wanted to bring him back to show you that he's doing great, doing well, and moving forward. That's none other than my friend, Elder Jay Codwell. So why don't you call somebody real quickly, tell them Coffee with Curry is on, and let's get after it. And we're back. As I promised you, we have the legendary Jay Codwell with us today. And I'm just excited, Jay, that you could, took some time out of your Thank busy you. schedule Thank to be you, with Pastor, us. Thank you, for having me. I'm honored to be here. Yeah, I, I believe that. I believe that. I, just last week, you sang at, at my anniversary and yeah. tore up the house and oh. You tried to act like you you did couldn't do it and you just did it up. Well, I thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm still God. I'm still glad that God allows me to do some things, and and uh, you know I appreciate Him for allowing me to be able to sing every now and then. Yeah. I sing around the house a lot. Try to try try to stay in practice. Yeah. So I was honored to be there. Yeah. Well, let me tell you, if you practicing around the house, it's the best place to practice. Yeah. And how's J Jody doing? Josie's doing fine. And she uh, saw fit that I, uh, I got some breakfast this morning. So she's doing well and, and she's answering the phone with, with the business and all. So she's doing well. She stays busy. She stays busy. Yes, you always say she's tired. And I know it's because of all the work that she has to do for you to keep you up and ro running and doing what you need to do. Amen. Yeah. yeah she, she. So, so Go ahead. No, she does a good job. She, I know she does. Yeah. And, and for all of you who are watching, you know, because he likes to joke with his, his homie, Doc, uh, uh, Bishop Morton, and we're going to talk about her a little bit later, as well as Gabby. And he always got these jokes about his wife. But we know that he, she, the only way he wear her, wear her out is because she always got to take care of him. <laughs> oh, man. I know she's going to get a charge out of this this program today <laughs> but she's doing well she's taking care of the business she, yeah. she that's a full-time job for her between that and her sister she's yeah. got uh, w one niece that just got a new apartment a new house or something like that and mm -hmm. I think she's helping a, a with that and this kind of thing but she's doing well she's, she's doing, doing well. good yes sir well Jay it's been almost a year two weeks from now it'll be one whole year we honored you uh for uh, excellence in the gospel field I mean you, one of the one of the criticisms I've had for Delaware is that Delaware really doesn't know how to honor its legends okay. and not not legend that an old person but you have been across the world Yes. Not just in the United States, but across the world, yes. singing the gospel and have done so much. And I sat down one day and said, you know what? We need to make sure, since you're a member of this branch of Zion, that we honor you. Thanks. How do you feel today after a year of that passing? Well, Pastor, I must admit, well, first of all, I have to, uh, and I always tell everybody that had it not been for you and, and the church members, I wouldn't have had the honor that I, that you bestowed upon me, but I, I, uh, things are just beginning to take shape. People are just beginning to realize that when they turn there and they see that sign, yeah. that uh, they just begin. And my mail is coming now, just beginning to change okay. from Powell's Lane to J. Caldwell Lane. Okay. So I am, I am just on cloud nine about it. It is it, it, just such an honor to be able to tell folk that. I have a street named after me. Yes. That's an honor. And you know, there's a difference, and I talked about this, there's a difference between having a street ceremonially named after you and having a street actually named after yes. you. Yes. Because your street is is J. Cowell Lane, yes. and it is the address. Yes. It was just yes. awesome. And I yes. think you deserve it, Jay, because you have you, been sir. such a blessing. Thank you, sir. And some of them, so many of the women and men, brothers and sisters, who, who said that you were there for them during their time of grief, playing at their parents' funerals and, and not playing but singing and just doing whatever you could and, and yet you would be on some of the largest stages though. You, you could be at the funeral with just your boom box or you could be in, in, in Melody Hall just sharing the praises of God and I'm just, I wanted to make sure that the world saw 
a Thank real man. You. Thank Pastor, I appreciate that so much. I, 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 God has allowed me to go so many different places. And, and, and I was sitting just thinking about how many of the uh, original members mm. uh, 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 that have come through the group the mm -hmm. gospel ambassadors have already gone on, yeah. transitioned, yeah. and it's quite a few, yeah. quite a few. Yeah, you know, I thought about brother, brother Russell Thomas, who was a member right. of this church. Yes, he he sang with us at one time. Right, and so many have uh, have uh, the Lindsay, not Bob Lindsay. He's still with us, thank God. But he had two brothers that were with the group. Oh, really? Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's John and Charles. Okay. And and they are both transitioned. Mm -hmm. So it's it's been quite a few. Of course, yeah. you know Doc. Right. Oh, yeah. man. I know that was a part of your soul line. Yeah. That's yeah. Tough. That was tough. But so many have transitioned. And so I thank God for keeping me and, 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 and bestowing these honors, up, this, this particular honor upon me, because it was something I never thought would happen. Yeah, I never thought I would have a street like you said. Name not just ceremonially. I see so many of those streets, but mm -hmm. this one was actually yeah. named after me. Yeah, I I remember when I went to J Street, who is the city, but who is the county councilman for your district, and I shared with him. I said I, we got to do something big for Jay, and Jay said to me, he's J Street. He said I've never done this before, but if it can be done, we're gonna get it done. And he worked hard. I said, I don't want to ever take all credit uh, because J Street, uh, it, just in case you got to vote for him, just know <laughs> he worked hard and he made it happen. And I'm very grateful for that. And 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 the church loved Jay Kawa. When I first became pastor in 2005, um, I heard from Philadelphia, Louise Williams Bishop. You remember? Yes, yes. Yeah. She said to me, she said, she said, she said, Curry, you're going to E Zion. I think that's where my good friend go to church. I said, well, who's your good friend? Because I wasn't really in the quartet world. You know, I was a younger brother and I wasn't really in the quartet world. And she said, she said, Jay Cotwell. I said, oh, I heard that name before. She said, I think he's a member of your church. Now, in my head, I was saying, I don't think he's a member because the church wasn't that large. So I said, most people who got a big name, got albums out and things of that nature, belong to the mega churches. Yes. Well, when I got there, I asked the chairman after they voted me in, I said, is there a Jay Cotwell to go here? He said, yeah. Sits in the back. I said, he, he's been coming? She said, yeah. And it blew my mind. And the first chance I got to give to ask you to do a selection, I just was sitting there. I almost couldn't preach that Sunday. Oh, man. Well, I'm honored. Ezion uh, uh, Fair has been my home church ever since I've been in this city. Yeah. And you mentioned J Street. And I, 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 I get so much joy watching him. <laughs> It because he stays angry all the time. <laughs> he's a good guy to have around. I, I know, but he he stays he's into it. Man, he's a fighter. Yes, he is a fighter. He, yes, he, and I enjoy watching him. You know, it's funny because I, I I said to somebody about a month ago. I said whenever there's a real fight. That's where I go. I go to Jay because I know he's going to stick with He may get beat up with me, yeah. but he's going to stay in the fight. I, I, I don't know his, his off-camera language, but I'm surprised, man, that he hadn't used some off-camera language. Well, he has. He has. <laughs> he has. We know how to bleep and how to uh, cut things off. So, but but he tries his best. Oh, you know, he tries his best to be respectful. <laughs> but but you don't want to make him mad. I figured that. You don't want to make him mad. And he's always been that way. His, his, he was raised that way, even with his 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 mom was was an activist as I well. See, see. And 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 he's just been that person. So I wanted to make sure that on this show a year later we brought his name up because yes. I feel that he really made it oh, happen. Oh man, I see the street. Grateful to him. Yeah, I'm grateful to him. Yes, right. especially Everybody that was a part of it. Yeah, and let, as you said, my homie was there and 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 I, I i talked to her yesterday on the phone uh, and and i i have to call her again today see if she went home she doesn't know yeah. when she's going home i know you're yeah. gonna bring that up later yeah but uh I, I i'm just grateful to everybody that saw fit to be a part of that street name yeah. and, yes and, and you had people come in from everywhere yes i mean i i was saying to myself i said i want of these old girlfriends uh, uh jay <laughs> Cause he had, you had, you had, for you to be an older brother. I mean, you had women in the front dancing, and I said, I wonder if these are the people from way back in the day. 
Well, most of my old girlfriends have transitioned. <laughs> I must tell you, Pastor, they're not around anymore as far as I know. But uh, because you know, you know, I'm 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 up there pretty good now. I, I've got a few miles on me. I, I know, I know. You know, I've got a few miles on me, and and uh, and and. But my wife still tolerates me, and and and, and that, that was my blessing was marrying young. Yeah, she, she she's much younger, and she's able to get around and do things. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, I, 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 so that was that. That's a blessing because most of my exes. Mm. Oh man, they're gone. They're gone. Yeah, yeah. I'm not laughing, but I'm just saying they're, <laughs> how you said it. They're gone. Yeah. Um, and and but but I just when I, when we were having the ceremony, I just saw people coming from everywhere, and they, and, and 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 the women were just. J J J J J, and when you got up to do your little song, they really went crazy. All right, all right, I don't, I don't, I can't remember what I sang. Well, you, I, I'm trying. Well, you say a couple things because you did a little bit of a couple things. Okay. Uh, you didn't do more than one. You did a couple oh, little right. little selections. Right. And we may play some of that during this show All right. because we want to make sure people saw what happened. All but right. I brought you back on the show not only to just talk about, um, um. You know, like we, who helped me to to bring it to pass? Ease Iron Fair, J Street, but also, you had contracted COVID. Yes, and a lot of people were very, especially me as your pastor. We were praying, but we were concerned because you had not been sick before. You had right. got years and years ago. You had a heart attack. Yes. in Chicago. God gave you a rebound, yes. a strong one, and you came back stronger than ever before. Yes. And when you had contracted COVID, a lot of people were whispering, saying, "Oh, I don't know if he's going to make it out of this." And I believed all the time you would, because you they don't even make your kind of men anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but but I wanted to bring you back on the show so people can see. Thank you. Jay is back. Now, you may not be able to run 20 miles. No, I can't. And you might not be able to enjoy Wednesdays as much as you used to. Oh. But, <laughs> but but you are doing well. And I heard that the doctor get, said some, some good news to you. Yesterday, the doctor said he'll see me in one year. That's awesome. That is awesome. And for those of you who are watching, you just need to know that when a, when a doctor says, I'll see you in a year, that means I ain't got nothing to worry about. I don't need to follow up on anything. Yeah. And and that's just awesome. And I want the people to see that. I've seen you on Twin B show. I've seen you on other shows. And you just say a word or two. But I wanted to spend this hour with you Thank so you. that they can see that cognitively you're still there. You know, and 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 when you and, and honestly, um, you, your, your, your vocal and your singing like you said, you may not have as much win as you used to be able to have a long concert, right. but you still got it. Thank you still you, got it. Thank you. Sir. And I'm not saying it because you're in front of me, because honestly, I was telling my wife when we were uh, at, uh, at at our anniversary last week, I said, I said, Jay, Jay got it. And he's a showman. <laughs> you act like you ready to sit down. And then I said, and I started saying certain words and you know, went right back to the mic and said, I'm going to try a little bit more. Well, you know, the song that I did that, uh, that I did at the celebration, uh, the other week was a James Cleveland. Song. Yeah, yeah. I don't feel no ways tired, and I I kind of had to smile in myself because most people, a lot of people, didn't know when James. I, the last concert I did with James, uh -huh. he left the concert mad with me. Oh, did he? Yes. Oh. Because we did one of his songs. Oh. Yeah. I I, I can't remember. He is, I think it's he is so good to me. He okay. gives me victory. Okay. What a mighty God we serve or something like that. Uh -huh. We did that. Uh -huh. And then, man, and it was wrong. We shouldn't have done it. Oh, okay. But um, he was upset about that. He was upset about yeah, that. Yeah, that's the last time I saw James. Uh -huh. He was upset with me about doing that. Oh, okay. We did. We were on a program. Arnold Lord's one of the uh, stars of this city. Mm -hmm. He passed and gone now. That was before your time. Mm-hmm. He sponsored the program, and he was a singing man too, Arnold. And uh, Arnold came to me and got jumped on me. Man, you shouldn't have done it. Shouldn't have done that. Then James came in, and they both got on me pretty good about it. Mm -hmm. But that was one of our hit songs, our big songs that we had gotten stolen from James, and that's why we did the song. And James, I thought about that when I was singing. I don't feel no way it's tired. Yeah. James was mad with me when he left. Well, me. well, the good thing about it is it was much fitting for a pastor's anniversary, and it's definitely much fitting for you because you've been through a lot of storms, but you still don't feel no way. You don't even look tired. Thank you, sir. So I'm just grateful for that. What we're going to do is we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we're going to probably just have a little 
sh share a little bit of your music. I hope they are able to find what you did for the pastor's anniversary because I think that's going to be important. I think people okay. see that you still got it. Now, don't y'all start calling him for no concert because he ain't doing them anymore. Uh, he's not doing concerts anymore, but but every so often you do something special because you even did something for my, for my mother's my mother's home going. Yeah. I was so, oh. I, my mother said that she, she she loves you, Jay. She she loves you. And she said, she said, if I go home, I just want Jay to do a selection. I said, which one? She said, anything he sings is good. Oh, thank you. Thank <laughs> and you man. did show up and you sang for my mom as well. Thank God for mama. Yeah, that's what it was. That's exactly what it was. Yes. Mm. So thank you so much. But we're going to take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back. You all might not know, but when my mother transitioned 11 years ago, Pastor Curry came 500 miles. <laughs> Along with the male chorus and my homie Bishop Morton, and they put her way in style. And I thought the least I could do was show up today. I'm not going to do, do much, but I'm glad to be here. Brother Morris, are we ready to try a little something? something? This song says, Thank God for Mama. She gave me life when it started. Mama stayed with me. She never parted. She held me close. Understood my 
we're back. Well, we're having this conversation, Jay and I, we're just looking back over a year. Uh, there were some, as I shared before the break, who, who just didn't know whether or not the Lord would be gracious to Jay and allow him to be with us another year. So we made sure as a church, we did some things to give you your flowers while you live, but you're stronger. You. You, you, you know, back they have, they, when, in my time, they had this thing called baby kids. Yeah. You know, they said they, they won't die, they just multiply. <laughs> and, and, and you, you kind of... In that soul where you like a baby kid, you you just keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Thank you, sir. But Jay, you did say something during the last segment that I wanted to kind of bring up, and that is when we honored you, there were several groups here. Yeah. And I mean, there were some big names here because they loved you and they wanted to make sure they showed their respect yeah. for you. Yeah. One in particular, you know, sad to say that just recently, within the last two weeks, um, have transitioned, and that is Keith Wonderboy yes. Johnson. Yes. I think that's how it's Wonderboy Johnson. And, and, and I just, I know you had a special relationship with him. Yes. He even cracked some jokes that his daddy uh, <laughs> shared. I'm starting to laugh because I remember the joke. But, but, but just give us some reflections, well, on Keith. Well, Pastor, when I first met Keith Wonderboy Johnson, mm -hmm. he was in college in the Maryland area. Okay. Yes, he, was, he was finishing college in that area. And he had begun to play the bass guitar for Kenny Davis. Kenny Davis and the Melody Airs were a group out of Baltimore okay. that we worked with. Mm -hmm. Now, Keith was, uh, became a member of Kenny's group, and he could really play bass guitar, and he could sing in uh, 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 a lot of good background, harmony. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't know at that time that he was a lead singer. Mm -hmm. And uh, so eventually he left Kenny and went to his hometown, New York, and started his own group. Mm -hmm. uh, Keith Wonderboy Johnson, of course, was the mm -hmm. name of the group. And, uh, and uh, I can't remember the name of his group now, but they were uh, a, a good bunch of singing guys. And, right. and Keith and I had already, uh, as I said, known each other from the, from the Kenny Davis era. And so we were friends, and we used to travel together from place to place and do concerts together. And we had a, a going joke about a couple of members of my group. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and, the, and he mentioned it when he was here yeah, last. He did. And it was just so sad about his home going that, that when they called me and told me that he had transitioned. Yeah. It was, it, it was so hard to believe because... One of the groups on that program, uh, one of the members was in his 90s. Right. And right. we expected him, Reverend Spann, right. to be gone before anybody else. Mm -hmm. And Reverend Spann is still here. He's still here. And Keith has transitioned, and we miss him already. They haven't funeralized him yet. They called me last night about uh, setting up the funeral date. Mm -hmm. So we're just hoping that we can go to his home going service and uh, it's just sad. Yeah, well, let me just say this to you. You know, you're an elder of our church, so you need to be chauffeured up there. Just let us know. We'll take care of it. Tell Jody she don't have to worry about getting you up there in the wheelchair and nothing. We, <laughs> we, we can make sure you and she get there. Right. And if you need to spend a night up there, you can. Right. We'll take care of you, because that's what we do as, for our own. And, and, and I know that you are rich and you got the big business, but, but we like to show our love for our people. You know. Yes. All right, Pastor. <laughs> Whatever you say, man. Sometimes being uh, a business person is not all as you know <laughs> as it looks like it is. Uh, yeah. But and, but my son is doing a fine job with yes. the business since you mentioned the business. But I thank you for that. And uh, they're going to call me back and let me know exactly when and where and all this kind of thing. We haven't been, yeah. that hadn't been set up yet. Well, I'm definitely going to call Jody to make sure that she keep me in the loop all so right. that we can make sure you're taken care of to get Thank up, y'all you, get up there because, because he came for you. Yes, and and, and I mean, I mean, when I called him and, and, and said to him that we're honoring Jay Codwell, he said, when? <laughs> and I said, I said, I told him the date and everything. He said, even if I had something on my calendar, it had to be moved. Oh. He said because he has such a fond relationship with you, yes. a real relationship, and he yes. and, and and he was for, for relatively young. Yes, fifty. Uh, he was fifty years old. He's younger than me. Old. Yes. Wow. Yes. And 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 we still have not heard any f official reason for his transitioning, do we? No, sir. We, okay. we have not heard as to why. I, I, they say both of his cars were in the driveway, 
mm-hmm. and his his family was they were trying to get in touch with him mm-hmm. and they couldn't mm-hmm. and so they knew something was wrong mm-hmm. so that I think they said they called the police and the police went in of course and they right. found him in the bed or in the bathroom or somewhere that he had already transitioned. To. Wow. So that's all I know. Yeah, and, and that's why it's important for those of you who are watching, you know, what we we call ourselves doing this to, to honor Jay, um, but Jay, you never thought that would be the last time you would no, see him. Never thought. You know, and, and, and that's why we gotta love each other. That's why yes. we gotta help each other. Yes. We gotta support each other. Yeah. Uh, because we never know when our last time Very will be. Yeah. Very true. Very yeah. true. Very um and and, and 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 I don't know when the service will be, but we'll make sure again that you are there Thank in you, bright sir. and shining colors Thank and you, and you can put on one of your old suits that you like to wear, <laughs> the ones that are very bright. <laughs> <laughs> and and dude, I just always try to find jokes with you because I really I love our relationship. You and I have a very good pastor, yes, yes, almost like father to son. It's just so many different things yes, going on. Yes. You spoke of your son doing very well with the business. How is he doing? Did he find the wife yet? Uh, no, no. He, my son, uh, my son uh, is not. He he doesn't seem to be looking for a wife. He, uh, no, he has a girlfriend. So, yes. So so that could be the wife. All you gotta do is say I do. I know it, but he he hadn't done it, and and I, maybe she's not pushing him to. Um, I don't know. Okay. I don't know, but he has a beautiful girlfriend. Yeah. She's a, such a nice lady, and and I don't know. I, I guess uh, if for grandkids are concerned, pastor, what what you think? should I urge him, push him in that direction? I think you should. Okay. Yeah. You 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 you're the you're the you're the you're the the, the the head of the family, you got to tell them you need at least one. Well, I, I, see, the thing is, if the business keeps going, uh-huh. you're going to need somebody to work on the on the trucks. Right. You know. Okay. And so the way we're going now, we're not going to have anybody. Uh, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So it's time now to get, get, Get things going, get things moving. Yeah, if you're telling me, you have to tell him. <laughs> you tell him it's time to get things moving because he ain't getting younger neither. I know that. He, I think he's around my age as well. Yes, he is. Yeah, tell him he ain't getting younger. I know. I know he's missed it because he got your genes. He think he's gonna be able to be <laughs> Superman for the next fifty years. But, but, but it becomes important that he know that it's time to get somebody to keep this thing going. No, I'm, I'm trying to tell him, and maybe, maybe there's somebody now out there that's watching that can contact me and and, uh, it's interested. (laughs) Don't do that. Oh my God. You're going to get so many calls. You don't want to do that. You definitely don't want to do that. Uh, Man, you're going to have somebody with one eye. (laughs) Oh man, I I can't wait for this to air. (laughs) It's going to air and it's going to air uncut. Oh man, that's beautiful. That's so beautiful. Well, well, I'm glad that, and he's been sticking with you pretty good. So, so we don't want to beat him up too much. But 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 I do want to make sure that uh, we you have these air the people that are coming behind you having somebody to help you. Yes yes yes. And now he's not my oldest son. My right. oldest son lives in North Carolina. Right. Yeah, but he not he doesn't seem to be business oriented. Right. You see, so so Kevin's it. Yeah. You know, so we just have to see what we can get out of him. Right. And see if we can get somebody a helpmate for him. Mm-hmm. So we can get some reproduction in this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, he gonna get you. He's gonna get you. I can see Bishop Morton now looking at the tape and say, be quiet. Uh, hey, leave it alone. Uh, 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 and speaking of Bishop Morton, let's just spend a minute. I mean, she is one of the best. Let me tell you this. When I came to Delaware, I was ridiculed so much by the preachers. And she spoke up for me so many times and say, give him a chance. Yeah. And, 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 I had not had anybody to really speak up in my defense, yes. but she was that person. She, Bishop Morton. Now, when you start talking about Bishop Morton, you're hitting home with me because she's been there for me. Yeah. She's been there for me. And, and, and when I heard that Bishop was in the hospital, it bothered me. And I called her, mm-hmm. and, and, and she had her cell phone with her, and I spoke with her, and she just said she's having problems standing. Right. And so we have to wait and see what happens. I, I'm just praying for her and hoping I'm calling her every day, mm-hmm. hoping that, you know, she gets better. Because, she will. 
She will. We're praying to. And and matter of fact, she 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 is getting better. But a, a lot of times when you're older, Jay, you got to realize you're not as young as you used to be. I, and I think she does a little bit too much. I tried to tell her that. Okay. After. Okay. I said, Bishop, you know, you're much older than I am. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> See, I don't know about that. She ain't here to defend herself. So I'm not going to let you, I'm not going to let you uh, beat her on her. I now, told her that, Pastor. See, I don't know, but I'm not sure if your, your, your assessment is correct. <laughs> okay. That, she, that, that she's old, much older than you. Um, but, but that was your, that's your homie. And, 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 and it, I, she was telling the, the joke with me years ago when I first got here, how when she first started pastoring, she would, she would have a beer <laughs> and, 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 and she said somebody was taking a trash out one time and they said, Bishop, I'm going to get on the people around this neighborhood. They putting beer cans in your trash. <laughs> He said, well, I'm not sure if they put them in there, but I know I am. <laughs> now, Pastor, I can't comment on that. You can't comment on no, that? I can't. I was trying to bait you. <laughs> I can't comment on that, Pastor, because uh, I don't know my homie. I just can't. I, I, better, not, I better not go there, Pastor. <laughs> you know, I'll leave that like it is because my homie, uh, but I will say this. <laughs> I called her once and said, I said, Bishop, I said, now the trucks are in, the guys are in, and they sitting out in front of the uh, yard, uh -huh. and they all drinking beer. Oh. I said, and one of uh, these people, a couple of them are your church members. Oh. I said, and I just think that you should find something to say to them if they're going to be drinking, you know, in public. Mm -hmm. And she never did condemn it. Oh no! She never yeah. Just like when you called me and said, "Pastor, you got a lot of you got." I saw some cars in Delaware Park that got on their <laughs> Ezion Fair Baptist Church, uh, um, and I never could. I said to you, "All things come of the old Lord." So sometimes you can't live other people's lives, right? Uh, that's that's true. That's true. <laughs> that's true, Pastor. But I know. But don't you think that maybe she should have? said something uh, uh, chest high, uh, chest. No, Aretha Martin is from that school where you need to have your personal walk with the Lord and the Lord will chastise you. The Lord will hand you because he had patience with her. You know, she had, she had things she did, wasn't supposed to do in her life and the Lord had patience with her and fixed her up real good. Yeah. Look at you. We ain't going to start on that <laughs> sermon. Um, so, so why not have patience and beating up people doesn't help. Oh, Pastor, Pastor, you're hitting a lot of nerves here now. <laughs> but the, one of the members that was sitting out in front of my yard with the cold beer, okay, he's a member of this church now. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, I, ain't gonna, I don't know. I don't know and don't want to know. And, I'm, and, I, and, and, and I hope that he's been delivered. <laughs> I hope he's been delivered. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna get in trouble with that? Oh, he doesn't work for me anymore. Oh, he doesn't work for you no more. So no. you're giving up too much information, and and I'm not even going to address it. I'm just going to say to you that you get in trouble. That's what. And speaking of getting in trouble, that's why Gabby wanted to to, to oh. punch you. Oh, 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 oh man, you talking about hitting some nerves? Yeah, you just, you just struck a nerve, Pastor. Oh, man. Uh, Gabby, 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 Gabby. Uh, <laughs> what can I say? I'm letting you. What can <laughs> Pastor, you got me on the spot when you say Gabby. Yeah. You know, you say popping Gabby, I'm on the spot. Okay. Because we started off back, and these, these guys were shade tree mechanics when I met them. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what they did. They were shade tree mechanics. Mm -hmm. But since things change now, you know you can't you can't you can't be a shade tree mechanic anymore. Things are uh, uh, different now, mm -hmm. computerized. Yeah, and so that not a you can't be a shade tree. So that put them out of business as far as mm -hmm. being mechanics were concerned. Mm -hmm. And so Gabby, <laughs> now. Pastor, you know they found the monkey on Gabby's step. <laughs> there you go back at that monkey again. <laughs> You're back at that monkey. Again. Okay. There was two shows of during your celebration. Okay. And Gabby found out you're the one who put it on his step. <laughs> well, now here's the problem. 
I found out this, Pastor. The gentleman that actually put that monkey on Gabby's steps has transitioned. No, you're not going to put that on Doc. No. Oh, not Doc. What Doc? Okay. Uh, a, 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 the gentleman's name was Gary. Oh, okay. And he's transitioned. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if it's something that Gabby had anything to do with. No. Nah. They found the gentleman upstairs in one of the churches, one of the empty churches, mm -hmm. and he had transitioned. Now, I don't know if Gabby had anything to do with it or Pop had anything to do with it, <laughs> but the guy's gone. Oh, wow. You know. If if you're watching this show, uh, especially if you law enforcement, please do not take this serious. Because <laughs> if you take this serious, you're gonna find yourself in some very serious trouble. But 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 I oh, I, I love the relationship. Now, what I tell people often is that if you want a good laugh, if you want a good laugh. You come to Easy Iron Fair after service. Now, the Lord didn't move. People are shouting, and, and, and the spirit was so hot. But after service in the lobby, you find Gabby, you find Jay, and it's nothing but commotion. But it will keep you in stitches. We're going to come back after this commercial break, and we're going to continue to talk about Brother Gabby because we, he's not doing so well right now, and I want to make sure that you keep him in prayer as well. We'll be right back. Bless We ought to say one more time of the Son and the Holy Ghost. Blessed, blessed tree. back. Well, look, we, we left laughing about Gabby, who is your dearest friend. I mean, that man will take a bullet for Jake Howell. Good man. And you always, you call him the gorilla glue. You told me I had something broke at the church. You said, call, get, get Gabby glue. I said, what is Gabby glue? You said gorilla. What, what does Gabby have to do to be Pastor, to you. pastor, pastor. Now, Gabby, Gabby, the lead medals, the, the reason why I don't want to say too much. Okay. Because these guys, they like to fight. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> so they like to fight. Now, Gabby's got a daughter that goes to this same church uh -huh. that threatened me, I think, the last time I saw her. Wow. Yeah. Right out, like you say, after church, uh -huh. she comes out and, and, and she threatens me. Did she? Yes. And 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 uh, you, 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 uh, her name is Tina. Oh Lord, you told the woman's name. Help me, Tina. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is a Tina too. Uh, do you know? Her? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but did you know who to pray for? <laughs> <laughs> well, Jay, you, she can't help but threaten you messing with her father. No, but I, I, all I, all I said was to hint to Gabby was, you know, I didn't put the monkey on your, on your steps, mm -hmm. you know, and, and they don't, they, I don't know why they don't believe me. I never got out of the band, uh -huh. you know. I, I knew about it, okay, but I didn't put it over there. Well, you're holding to that story, aren't you? <laughs> yes, I didn't. I didn't. I, I don't do, walk like that. Okay, you know. So, they wanted to jump on me about it, 
and 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 I, I and you saw it when you when we came on TV. Uh -huh. He had he brought the monkey. Yes, he did. I bought the monkey that, with me that I had. <laughs> <laughs> you saw it. There were two monkeys on the. <laughs> if you wanted to just throw a count. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> well, I, it was two monkeys on the show. That, that 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 that, and I know what you're doing. You're trying to add him into that equation, but oh, but I man. will say that he stand by the fact that your wife told him that you put that monkey on his step. Yeah, but my wife wasn't with me. Okay, she didn't. She never. Uh, uh, I, I, Gary put that monkey on his chest. Okay, all right. And 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 Gary, like I said, has gone on now. Mm -hmm. He's transitioned, and 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 I think that it's time for Gabby to forgive and forget. Yeah, well, <laughs> he, he probably has forgiven. Okay. He's not going to forget it. And you know, speaking of Gabby, you know, on a serious note, because I I love when when we start talking about Gabby and and the Ledbetters because they are such a with you, there's such a breath of fresh air. People don't understand. You can come to church, you can have a good time and love each other, have fun with each other, joke with each other, and and that's what I see, especially after service is over, yeah. not doing church. But um, he he's been he's been in the hospital twice. I think it was one for his shoulder or something of that nature. Yes. And and he's and he's doing better. Yes. You know, and, and I'm asking for those of you who know uh 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 uh, uh um his name just right out of my head, led better, brother Gabby, that you keep him in prayer. His brother also um was had a shoulder issue as well. Yeah, he had a head issue pop. He had a head issue. Yeah, I think he fell and hit his head. Or oh, something okay. Like well, that. let's keep Pop in prayer too. Um I don't see him as much. That's why right. I, I didn't bring him up because because um um, brother, um, uh, uh, the, the, oh, well, they, they twins, so I can't yeah, say. Lord and Lord, Pop and Gabby. Gabby, Gabby. Gabby is here almost every Sunday. That's why I see him more. Yeah. But we got to keep both Pop and him in prayer yeah. because they, they were both in the hospital around the same time, too. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so I ask that if those of you who know them, keep them in prayer because yes. them some strong men, though. I yeah. thought you were going to say they used to pick the cars up. And even though you talked about that they may not be able to do the same type of Auto mechanic work, right? You give him let something be wrong with a car. Yeah, he he'll fix it. Pastor, you're not gonna believe this, but it's the truth. We broke down. Our bus broke down in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Gabby took a pair of pliers and a, a, a clothes hanger, mm -hmm. coat hanger, and fixed that bus and drove it all the way back home. That's right. You know, mm -hmm. uh, with a with a coat hanger and a pair of pliers. Uh huh. Saved now. you a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> saved you. I wouldn't drove on that bus, but he saved you a lot of money. <laughs> well, uh, I, I I'm not sure that I was in the bus because that's when I had had a heart attack in Chicago and they had to leave me there. Oh, okay. Yeah, and uh, so they 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 left me in the hospital in Chicago. Okay. And so, but Gabby. Fixed that bus with a coat hanger and a pair of pliers. Mm. And so I'm saying to those of you who have your cars broken down and if you want somebody to fix them, and yeah, you got a coat hanger and a pair of pliers. <laughs> Call Gabby. It, it, listen, listen, it's the mind behind it. If you got a, and the cars we got today, a, co, a pair of pliers or a coat hanger ain't gonna help you <laughs> in that type of crises. But but they were there are some very good good brothers and 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 Gabby is and and, and Lynn whom I, I I really love so much and she was down a little bit too but she's doing yeah. much better. I see her sister here all the time. Um, Vicky. Vicky is here. Yeah. Um, um and and it's it's a beautiful family. It, yes, they're just a beautiful yes, family. Yes. The one sister, um, Rena, yeah. Kevin's mother, Rena. Yes, and she comes. And, and they're not starting. She comes, and she's yes. very faithful too. Yes. I'm sorry, I don't want to miss. Her. She, 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 she's been coming for the last two years strong. Yes, yes. And I'm very grateful. So they're just coming, and I'm just grateful that God has blessed us with such good people. Yes, indeed. such good people. Yes, yes. And they, yes, and, and, yes. and they are introduced to me by you because they were quiet. <laughs> but you know what? You even got. Believe it or not, you got Russell to like me. Now, you probably didn't tell him to like me, but he saw our relationship. Okay. And he started, because he had a hat. His hat said, God is my only boss. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, God, this guy is just <laughs> mean. But, but we ended up having such a wonderful relationship because he saw good. our relationship I had with you. Okay. And the same with Gabby and the rest of them. They good. saw that, you know, 
we, you can enjoy your pastor. Beautiful, beautiful. You can enjoy your pastor yes, without yes. there being some form of, oh, we don't need to like him. We don't need to be a part of him. So, yeah. so I appreciate what you've done for me, yeah. you know, in your time you're here. Right. And I'm looking forward to another well, 20, 30 years. Well, I appreciate you, Pastor. i tell you that right now. And there's one thing I want to mention before we close. Okay. Every night, I don't know where you have to be able, able to get gospel on YouTube. Mm -hmm. There's a gentleman, have you heard of Smokey Norfolk? Yes, yes. Have you heard him pray? I had not. He has a prayer on YouTube. Okay. Old timers prayer, something like that. Uh -huh. Man, that thing brings me to tears every night. Oh, okay. And I just wanted to mention that to those of you who are looking for some kind of uh, uh, calmness at yeah. night or something to let you sleep. Get, check out old Sno Smokey. He, he, he Smokey had, Norfolk, right. Yes. Yes. No. We may we may close out in that today. We will see if we can find a it. Prayer. Okay. Old times, Father God, mm -hmm. we come before you today, mm -hmm. head bowed and body bent. That's the that's the way he starts. Okay. And uh, man, let me tell you something. I I can go to sleep all night every night yeah. and just lay there and cry, cry, cry. Wow. It's heavy. Man, that's good. Need to check it out. Please. Yeah, we we gonna check it out, and we hope we can probably find it today and and let 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 it play it on the air. All right. You're always trying to find a way to keep people smiling. <laughs> Listen, you tell your wife we we miss her on I the will. show today, I will. and we appreciate her taking care of you, taking care of the old folks. She's, she's becoming a nurse for the old elderly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but tell her thank you so very much, and we appreciate thank her you. so thank much. You, we appreciate pastor. your family. Thank you. Anything your church family can do while I'm the pastor. Because you. you're going to be around for a while. Oh, I hope so. Just know, you didn't even got to ask. If we know something we can do, we're going to, like, I'm going to follow up and make sure that you get to New York without any invent, and if you got to stay overnight, because I don't want you rushing in someplace and got to rush out. I want you to be able to relax and do what you need to do. But but I want you to know anything we can do to support you, we're going to do it because Thank you're you, ours. Sir. Thank you, sir. And you got 60 plus years of service here at Ease Eye and Fair. <laughs> and you, we sir. are very grateful for Thank you. you Pastor. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, Jay. Thank you for God bless your you. kindness. Thank you, sir. We'll be right back. To our pastor, to all the ministers here today, I'm going to be very brief, very brief. I'm so honored to be here. And I'm honored to be a part of this service and I, I, I thought about trying to sing something that would suit the pastor today when I was his age I was like him I was young and strong <laughs> so I talked to brother Morris and we decided to do a verse of a song that we hope
it for you today. Head bowed and body bent. Lord, I want to thank you that last night my bed didn't become my cooling board. And oh, God, I just want to take a minute to tell you thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you that you kept me when I didn't know how to keep myself calm. And I thank you that you never left me and you've been with me every step of the way. Lord, if nobody else brought a thanksgiving in their hearts, I just want to tell you, much obliged, sir. I'm so grateful. I'm grateful for every day that you brought me out. I'm grateful for every moment that you wrapped your loving arms around me. I'm grateful for every time you regulated me and kept me in my right mind. I'm grateful, I'm grateful, I'm grateful. Lord, I'm so grateful right now. I just want to tell you thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for food on my table. Thank you for clothes on my back. Thank you that I got up this morning and I had a roof over my head. I remember, I remember, I remember. I remember how we used to say, I woke up this morning with my mind and it was stayed, stayed on Jesus and Lord. I don't need, I don't need, I don't need, I, I don't need no rocks crying out in my place. But Lord, you've been so good to me, I cannot tell it all. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for being my weight maker. Thank you for being my burden bearer. Please, please, please. Oh, please excuse me while I check off my list thank you for keeping me thank you for shielding me thank you for protecting me thank you for bringing me thank you for lifting me thank you for saving me thank you for raising me up God thank you thank you thank you sir thank you thank you thank you sir thank you Jesus Lord you've been Lord, you've been my rock in the weary land. Lord, you've been my shelter in the time of storm. Lord, you've been my way maker. You've been my rock. You've been my redeemer. You've been my strong tower. You've been my everything. Oh, Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. gentlemen oh my gosh I've been holding my breath for this and I've been so excited we have the legendary Jay Codwell from Jay Codwell and the ambassadors right here welcome to the show thank Jay you, thank, <laughs> you, thank you thank you thank you Marcel thank you so much for yes having me. thank you I'm so glad that you came oh my gosh I'm, I'm very honored to be here thank you thank you, thank thank you. you. Uh, Jay, uh, I just want to uh, say uh, I've been listening to you and the ambassadors for like I was a kid. Yes. I love you, and I've always have loved you. Thank you. Thank you, and I always want I want to say to you, you were on a show uh, back in the '80s called Gospels Variations. All right. Mm -hmm. 
You sang a song, and I love your music. Thank you. I'm gonna tell you, your voice is so anointed. Thank you. You sung a song called "On My Journey." Yes. Now. Yes. Oh yes, my yes, gosh. Yes. 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 One of our old favorites. On and my mine. Now. Yes. Thank you. When you sing that song, it's full of inspiration and so much passion. I love it. Well, maybe we'll have to record it again. Yes, please. We might have to do that. Yes, please. Um, you And then you had a song, Never Let Go. Oh. <laughs> yes, another favorite. Yes, um, and what a friend. I thought that was beautifully done. It tells a story at the same time. Yes, yes, yes. Old hymn. Old hymn. Old traditional. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Where does, now I know it all comes from God. Yes. And you have such passion. I, 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 I want to ask you, um, where do you find uh, the strength? And, 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 and Because you have so much passion in your music, and I know you're a family man. Where do you find the strength when you're doing tours and, and things like that? Can't explain it. I, you know, I know you're asking me to yes. explain it, but it's, I can't explain it. Okay. A lady came to me last night, and mm -hmm. she asked me how old I was, and I told her. Mm -hmm. And she said, it's unbelievable mm -hmm. how you perform at right. your age. And, and I can't, I, these are things that I can't, it all, as you said minutes ago, yeah. just comes from God. Yeah. Without God, we, we're That's not true. Yes. So, so yes. I have to give him all the honor, because yes. he's the one, yes. not me. I would be somewhere on a walker. Yes. It, well, speaking of honor, you know, a lot of women and men out here honor you, but you have so many women out here. Um, we have more women, I have to say that, more women than men out here that have appreciation for our songs of inspiration mm -hmm. and what you do and how you touch and move our hearts. Thank you. So I have questions. All right. Because when people knew that you was coming, I put it out there and we have so much love for you. All right. So Barbara Lehigh, she wants to know... When are you going back to Elizabeth City, North Carolina? Oh boy, <laughs> you know, that's one of our favorite stops, but we haven't been there for a minute mm -hmm. because the lady, Beverly Burton, okay. is a, was a friend of ours from mm -hmm. Allentown, Pennsylvania, yes. and she booked us in Elizabeth, mm -hmm. New Jersey, and she passed away a few oh, years ago. Okay. And that is the main reason why we haven't been back because and you tell this young lady yes, that we I don't have a sponsor there. But not sure. And we're back. Let me just say, what a show. It was my desire, my goal, to bring Jay back just so you could see what I see almost every Sunday. He has rebound. The truth is, people did not believe he was going to be able to bounce back from COVID. COVID took so many of our people. Yes. And it was not an issue of a person bad or good. It's just that COVID was a beast. And it did, it did so many damnable things to people. Um, and when I saw that he, it looked like he was declining, I said, no, we cannot have this big funeral. We need to have a living testimony of his life with him to enjoy it, his family to see, his church family, the city of Wilmington, the state of Delaware, to see a legend still living. And saints, it happened. Now we're a year later. He goes to his doctor just a, f a week or so ago, and the doctor say, Mr. Codwell, I'll see you next year. Yeah. This is the stuff that we want to make sure you stay in touch with. You be good to God, God will be good to you. Yes. And listen, until the next time we get together, May the Lord God bless you real good. Amen.